Let's go to our weatherbit.io and log into our application, uh, our uh, account here. And underneath your API key, you can see API documentation. So hit on it and click the link here. So it will take us to all the options our weather API will be able to provide to us. If we scroll a little bit down, here you can see all the different type of information we can get from our uh, API. So we have option to get the current weather, which will take your time of the time and location and provide the current existing weather for that location. Then we have forecast API for 16 day, and this will provide you daily weather forecast. Uh, severe weather alerts API, we are not going to use this. We're going to use the current weather, the forecast daily API, and we're going to forecast hourly API. So we can, uh, we can display uh, for every day of the week. And for the current day, we are going to uh, display every hour what weather we are going to have. Then you have other options here, historic weather. And pay attention, not all of this is available as uh, for the free users. So the main three we are going to use for our uh, application here are available for free users. Uh, with some limitations. I think the hourly uh, is available only for uh, 48 hours for free and the paid one goes up to 120 hours. Um, we will look into this in detail uh, in a bit. What I want to show you as well is at the bottom here, we have API key usage uh, statistics. I'm going to open this on a separate tab. And then we have weather API icon, weather condition codes. And I'm going to open this one as well. So let's look at the API codes and icons and each uh, weather type, we are going to receive some information from I, our API with the name of uh, the weather condition. And this name we will have this T101T or T01N, which will uh, represent the icon here. So if we download these icons straight away from our weatherbit.io, and we put them in our application by just accessing the name uh, we will pro be provided. I will show you there in a bit so you can see what going, what's going on there. By just downloading this, we will be able to just uh, visually show our user how is the weather. And then you have some description here as well for each, each one. The, the, day, the T here represents for the day and N for the night. So depending on the time uh, of the weather information we are receiving on the device is going to show the day or the night icon automatically. So these are the icons there uh, you can uh, be familiarized with and you can see there are quite a bit of icons here provided to us. Let me close this one. Then we have uh, our URL examples here, how we are going to access our, uh, this is not the one, API metadata, yeah, this is the one we need, not the first one, first one we don't need. Right, um, here it says weather API metadata, and we have here some information about uh, the, the stations, each station has its IDs, we're not going to use this, we're going to access our weathers through the name of the city, and uh, for current location we're going to use GPS coordinates. All right, uh, so we are, uh, I'm going to provide you actually with a file with all the cities. I have downloaded this one and you say there is a warning uh, large file. What I have done is I have downloaded the CV, uh, CSV file, comma separated values, and I have removed all the information we don't need. So we have only the city, uh, the country name and the country code. This is all we need in order to find the information about our weather. And if you scroll down, it has a weather beat a weather icons as a tar file. So you can download them and unzip them and you will have a folder with all the icons. So you don't have to click one by one and save as. So this will be available just one click download. And then we are going to import these to our project later on. So make sure you download that one. Uh, don't download any cities. I'm going to provide you with a CSV file that you can download from the project source. And now let's look into our current API, uh, weather API. If you click on the documentations, 
you will see a base URL. This is what our base URL means is we're going to access the API weather pit IO, which is the version, the current, and then we are going to build a domain like kind of uh, URL here, which will access this domain. And we want to tell to our API what exact information we want from it. As you can see, there are different languages you can download the information straight away. The default is English if you don't specify anything. You can choose your language here if you want for this lecture, for this course, we're going to stick to English. So we're not going to provide any uh, language information there. Then we have the units. Uh, by default, it's a metric. So it's going to be Celsius, uh, meters per second and millimeters for the weather. Uh, you can also use Kelvin, uh, scientific or uh, uh, Fahrenheit there. So um, the callback we're going to receive is a JSON file. And this is the reason we are using our Swifty JSON, which will help us to convert the JSON into, uh, into um, our code. So we can create our own class and take a JSON and convert it to our class object. So then you can see some information about API here. We have a latitude and longitude. So how we are going to specify our latitude and longitude, we just add to our base uh, URL there, we put at and then latitude equals to our latitude and longitude equals the longitude of our current location. Then uh, we're going to use this one. And we have an option with a city, city and uh, a country. So we say like we can specify at city equals on the name of the city and the country and see the country is not full name of the country, it's short country codes, which will be available in a CSV file that I will give you, that I have downloaded from weatherpeat.io. And there are other ways of getting our weather information. Each city will have an ID as well, but we're not going to use it. We can get like IP and uh, etc. So um, this is an example of URL. So it says the current uh, weather then the city equals to the city here and the country short code and key here we need to provide our API key. Without our API key, our uh, example URL is not going to work. And uh, not only the example, any URL that we send any request to our weatherpit IO, if it doesn't have this uh, API key, it's not gonna work. So below here, you can see an example of uh, information we're going to receive after we send the request to our URL here. So we have a JSON tree here. You can see uh, the curly braces, the first and the last one opens and closes. So this is start of our JSON tree. Then we have one object inside, it's called data. And the other object inside is count, which is just one. So our data is a array of dictionaries. So you can see our array finishes here and starts here. And inside we have one. This is the first item inside our array, which is a dictionary. It has key and value pairs. And we have, this is our second object. Let's see where, um, uh, this is for this one weather has, uh, instead of uh, a big object here, you can see as a key, we can have a, something of our key and the value in our JSON can be another uh, JSON, another dictionary here uh, with its own key value pair. So this part here is a small dictionary by itself. So we have one object here with all this information, apart from this small, which is again a, a tree and we can break down and get the information. And as you can see, the icon has the icon name there, C03D. So by accessing our weather and getting the icon name, we will be able to uh, get our image that represents our current weather here. And then we have the description, it says broken clouds. So this uh, is the information and you can see 
um, what, what other things we are going to receive from our API. Some of this information just by looking at it doesn't make any sense. But if you scroll more down, you can see what each uh, short description means. Like SLP is sea level pressure. And we have the SLP somewhere here. Let's see, where is it? Here. So the sea level pressure is 1022.2. And if we check here, it's in uh, bars, millimeter bars here. So you can uh, decrypt all the information for you to understand what each one represents from the from the field description here. So in our next lecture, what we're going to do is try to get our current weather uh, of our current city. Each one of us can use his own city and see. And we're going to build our uh, URL here and test our current weather from our weatherbit.io.